What's up everybody, this is Scott with 512 Garage. And I'm Greg, and today Scott and I are installing a set of radium engineering fuel rails on my CAM C6 Corvette. That's right, and so let's talk a little bit about why you would want to upgrade the fuel rails in your car. Primarily it's to change the style of fuel system. The stock is a deadhead system. This allows you to run a return style fuel system. Secondly, they look killer. These things are beautiful. Yeah, these, these are really great looking fuel rails. They're CNC machined out of a solid block of aluminum billet, laser etched and black anodized. And so they're really gonna look great underneath the hood of your LS powered Corvette. And I think one of the greatest things about doing a mod like this is it kind of dresses up under the hood while still being functional. Scott, what do you say we get these off the table and on the car? Sounds great. All this happening right here, right now, in the 512 garage. Welcome to the 512 Garage. If you're new around here, this is where I come to shoot videos and share my love and passion for automobiles, especially Corvettes, with all of you. So if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. Now let's get this fuel rail over to Greg so he can start assembly. So the first part of every installation and assembly, you wanna lay out all of your parts and make sure you have everything and you know where everything goes. So I have it all laid out here in an exploded view with all of the plugs and the fittings and the hoses laid out so that I can tell I have everything and I know exactly where it's gonna go. And I also have all of the tools that I'm gonna need. We have a three, a five, and an eight millimeter Allen wrench and an adjustable wrench. Hot tip for you guys, if you don't have an AN wrench, throw some electrical tape on an adjustable wrench and you won't mess up your fittings. Next thing we wanna do is make sure that the fuel rails are actually oriented correctly. The passenger side fuel rail, the injectors are facing backwards towards the cockpit of the car. On the driver's side, the injectors are tilted towards the front of the car. So we wanna make sure that these are actually oriented correctly. And you can see underneath, we have the bosses where the injectors go in at an angle. So the next thing that you wanna do is make sure that you figure out where you wanna put your crossover tube. A lot of guys run them up front. I'm actually gonna run mine in the back to try and hide it a little bit. Uh, this kit, it's configurable, so you can do whatever you like. So the last thing to do is dry fit everything on the bench, make sure all of the fittings fit like they should, tighten everything, and then we're going to place it on the vehicle and make sure everything lines up correctly. All right, you guys, so we have unbolted and released the pressure from the stock fuel rail on this LS2 here. And it's always a good idea to have an old t-shirt or some rags handy in case you spill any gas. Always good to keep your workspace clean. Now the radium engineering kit comes with this quick disconnect tool and we'll go ahead and disconnect the fuel line. All right, so we're gonna get the injectors off of the factory fuel rail and reinstall them on the brand new radium engineering fuel rails. All right, so with the fuel rail back over here on the bench and off the car, the first thing we're gonna do is remove all of the clips that hold the stock injectors in. And also, it's a good time to inspect the nozzles on the end of each injector and make sure nothing is damaged or clogged. And check your O-ring seals and make sure none of them are torn or dry rotted just a good time for a little visual inspection.
All right, guys, it's always a good idea to dry fit parts before you fully install them. Remember earlier in the video, we said we wanted to install this crossover tube in the back. Well, we found that it was making contact with the firewall, so we had to rethink the layout. And the great thing about the Radium Engineering fuel rails is they are highly configurable. So now we're gonna move this to the front. And in the process, we actually cleaned up the engine bay a little bit more by rerouting that fuel inlet hose. So Greg's gonna grab the other fuel rail, get it installed, we'll hook up this crossover, and get this LS2 fired up. All right guys, so we have our fuel rail all assembled with our fuel injectors and these modular billet feet that are configurable for many different LS applications. Check out the 512 Garage website for more fitment information and to see if they fit your vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed in here. Just drop it right down into place, firm little push, and it's seated. Alright you guys, I am pumped. These look great. Everything is tight, everything is in place, plugged in. Next thing we're gonna do is pressurize the system and check for leaks. All right, so Greg hopped inside the car. He's gonna put it in auxiliary mode, which will prime the fuel system to about 50 PSI here. And uh, I'm gonna chase down any leaks, hopefully there aren't any, with this flashlight right here. So we're just gonna follow the path of the fuel lines and check the injectors and any of the connections. Everything looks clear on this side. I'm gonna hop over to the other side, give it a look, and if we're good to go, we're gonna fire this beast up. All right, so no leaks over here either. Let's fire it up. All right, guys, that does it for another video. Hop on over to 512garage.com and pick up a set of radium engineering fuel rails for your car. Tons of parts on the site, shirts and hats, so go check it out. Now there's tons of content on YouTube for automobiles and especially Corvettes, so any time you spend on my channel is greatly appreciated. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. If you have any questions about anything you saw in this video or any of my other videos, you can always email me, scott at team512.com. Smash that like button and leave me some comments. You guys know I love interacting with people who love cars and Corvettes just as much as I do. Till next time, see ya.